Aloha. I'm going to show you now how to use um, Flash to animate text and make it look as if it's handwriting, such as this. And then depending on how fast you animate it, you can make it go faster or slower. I went kind of slow with this one. Um, there's actually two ways to do this. The way that I did it was um, just normal animation, but Flash already has a template set up where you can um, have it type out, I'll go back to the scene, have it type out for you, and it uses masks. Um, I don't like to use masks because there's a lot more chance for error and um, it's harder to fix. But let's start a new project. Let's start off. I'm just going to do a couple letters to show you how to do it. Um, first, you want to select a type of font that you want, something that's not too difficult to follow. Um, I like this one, Dapple font, and then make sure you have all the sizes set up and then just type in something that you want to animate. Once you have the text selected, um, we're going to select it and break it apart. So that's Command B on a Mac or Control B on a PC. You could also go up to Modify Break Apart. Um, once you do that once though, you'll see that they're each their individual own individual um, text segment, so you can still write over it however you want. But we're gonna switch back, go back to selection tool, select all of them again, and hit break apart again. Now they're a vector-based graphic. Um, once we're in this form, you can actually click and make lines a little bit different if you want to try and make it more like your own handwriting. Um, around with that a little bit um, but we're actually going to animate it frame by frame just like you would normally do it an animation on paper um, to do this we're going to actually work backwards so first you want to know what your hotkey is for adding a new frame um, normally it's f6 I've changed it on my computer so it's a little bit easier to reach and sometimes with max um, the f commands don't work as well so First, we're going to work backwards. We're going to get our eraser tool out. Um, size the sheet. Actually, I'm going to zoom in a little bit so it's easier to do. And I'm going to make it quicker than I did this last one. Um, so eraser tool and just take a little bit off the back. And then add a new frame. New keyframe. So it keeps the same as what it was before. And then we're able to erase again another little bit off the end and if you erase more it'll make it look like it's a faster handwriting if you make if you erase less it'll be a very slow and delicate handwriting um, so after you erase immediately add a new keyframe and erase again and continue this until you get through with the letters Look a little bit faster through it. Once you finish a letter, um, you can do things to make it look more natural as handwriting, whereas when you're normally writing, you take another little bit to move your pen off the paper and back on. So instead of having to immediately start with the next letter, um, you can add a couple frames in the middle so that there's a pause in between each letter where you're taking your pen off the paper and putting it back on. Um, and you can play around with it to try and simulate your own handwriting more and more. I made a little mistake right here. I erased a little bit into the main line of the Y. And when you draw a Y, you'd normally draw it down and then again up here. So I'm going to take back that whole frame frame still there so I'm going to clear this frame remove it go back to this one and we can test make sure my animation is moving where it was see what frame I'm on and then add a new frame again and start down here with, with the bottom of the Y and 
with this a little bit faster than I would if I wanted this to look like normal real handwriting. Let's just show you what to do. It's better to make it go a little bit slower with the actual one. And once again, I'm going to right here um, add a couple frames before I start B. Um, but it's better to go a little bit slower when you're doing this animation and you can do the frames per second up here and make it go faster again. So when you do a B, you first draw this line and this one second. So I'm going to start erasing with this line. In case you make a mistake, it's easier to just erase smaller portions and then let go and erase again, rather than holding the mouse through the whole thing and then making one little mistake needing to redo that whole bit you did. In between strokes, I like to add a couple frames too. And that's that. So now we have an empty screen at the end, which is where we'd normally have um, a full full screen, where the end of the project would be. If you play it backwards, you can see that it looks normal, but when you play it forwards, it's erasing itself backwards rather than playing forwards. So we're going to select the first frame, then hold shift and select the last frame. Oops, I added a couple extra spots. We're going to remove those. So select one frame, hold shift, select the opposite frame, then right click. Oh, my mouse doesn't like me. There we go. And reverse frames. There we go. So now it's backwards, which is what we want because that makes it forwards. So that's how to animate text to look like handwriting. Um, there is a way to do it with a mask, but that just creates more complications. The benefit to using a mask would be that it saves a little bit of file space. But if you're just um, writing out a couple words or a couple letters, it's really easy just to do this way, and it doesn't make too much more space in the file. And that's it. Good luck.